So anyway, hey, hey, hey. How all of you guys doing today? This is the place to be. Come along and drive with T. Because T is on her way to the supermarket. I have to grab a couple of things for dinner tonight. I just thought I'd get on here and catch up a little bit since I haven't been on here. I haven't did any updates. You guys don't know what's going on. Um, I do kind of have some good news, but um, I'm choosing just not to share it right now because I, it has to happen before, you know, I want to share it. But yeah, I shouldn't even mention it. But anyway, um, everything is going well. Um, everything is going fine with PD and all of that. I'm doing good as far as my health. Um, the only thing I'm battling now, as you knew from before, is the, the um, keeping up the um, amount of protein that I'm supposed to have. Other than that, all my labs is fine. Everything is good. So, anyway, tonight... Oh, yeah, I started, I did, I started doing the keto, y'all. I'm struggling. Man, I'm telling you, I'm struggling with this weight. And the only reason is because... Let me back up out of here. The only reason is because... Uh, of that solution that I that I have to put in my belly every night. That is pure sugar. You know. And so, you know, keto is like not having any sugar. And then having that every night is kind of hard. Oh, my brakes need some work. Hold on, y'all. I got to look behind me to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Right, honey bun? What you doing back there, boy? I got my grandson with me today. He gonna ride along with me. Give his mother a break. Give my daughter a break. So yeah. Um, yeah, so tonight I'm doing um, my version of Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm gonna do lemon pepper. I'm gonna do honey barbecue. And um, I'm going to do Parmesan, garlic Parmesan. I'm going to do those three um, wings. And then I'm going to try to make myself, well, I ain't going to try, but I'm going to make, uh, not broccoli, cauliflower mash tonight. I never did that before. But I feel like I want to have some mashed potatoes. And I got a good recipe from um, Miss Brooklyn. Uh, and I'm going to follow her recipe and try to make me some mashed potatoes. So, well, some cauliflower mash. But she said it tastes real good. She said it tastes just like mashed potatoes. So, I'm going to try it tonight. Hopefully, it does. So, yeah. But, y'all, y'all is good. He is so good. So good. He's been keeping me throughout this whole entire uh, journey. And, um, what else can I say? I sure enough wouldn't have had the strength without him, you know? And he's just been giving me favor. And I think the lesson in all of this is for him. He's teaching me how to depend on him, how to rely on him, how to hold on to my faith, you know, just to have faith. Because really, that's all you really have, you know? That's all you got to, like, really help you. Is just to know that you know he's in control and he loves you and if you follow his laws his statutes and commandments he will his word is true all those blessings you will you will get them a lot of people think that God is just a God of you know oh help me I'm in trouble but they don't have to do anything that's what the church lied and told us but that's not true you have to follow his law, statutes, and commandments. What you think he gave us the Ten Commandments for? You know? That's like going to your parents and say, Oh, Mom, I want a bike. Can you give me a bike? But you got all Fs on your report card. You did nothing to get that bike. What makes you think? But well, you do have some moms that's dumb enough to do something like that. But the average mother with a brain on her head would not uh, give a child a gift for bad grades. You got bad grades. Like right now, Isaiah, he has bad grades. And I took away all his games, his phone, his tablet, everything. Every electronic he has got taken away. And he's been on my case. Ma, when I'm getting it back? When your teachers call with an update and you move those grades up. That's when you get it back. 
So I'm saying that's the same way with, with, with God, with Yah, you know. Um, you can't just keep going to him like he's some kind of ATM, some miracle maker, you know. Oh, give me this, give me that. I'm sorry I did this. You repent only with your words, but you don't repent with your heart or your actions. If you are really repenting, that means you change the behavior and you do what he said to do. And you live a righteous life every day, not sometimes, not half the time, but all the time. And if you fall, because we're human, we will fall, we will make mistakes. You get up, you repent, and you don't do it again. You try everything in your power to um, to turn away from that, that wicked thing that you did. So I think in this whole journey that I'm going through, I'm learning faith. I'm learning how to have faith, how to um, hold him at his word, how to wait for him, how to depend on him. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's a good thing. Sometimes, you know, things that you think is, is um, horrible are actually blessings. It's actually Yah's way of pushing you to greatness or pushing you to a higher level of understanding or some, some position he wants you to be in, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to stay long or whatever. I'm definitely not taking this into the store because I have my grandson and I need to... Um, He's a busybody. I have to watch him, make sure that I'm keeping an eye on him at the supermarket. So I just wanted to come on and say hi to everybody. Hey, I'm still here. I am doing this thing, living life, trying my best to lose this weight. It's not easy for me. It's not easy because of the, the um, dialysis solution that I take every single night. And it has sugar in it. And sugar piles on my on me for weight it, it adds weight on to me um, but then also let me roll this one off so y'all can hear me also my nurse had told me that um a lot of my belly weight she told me not to really focus on that because a lot of my belly weight is not actually my belly it's my kidney my kidneys one of my kidneys is 10 pounds by itself just one so that's how huge and humongous my kidneys are. And so um, that's why they come up to the front and, make, and it makes my stomach look, um, you know, bigger than what it actually is. So, you know, it is what it is. And um, I am going to talk to my surgeon when I come up for the, um, for the transplant. And um, yeah, I got some news about the transplant, but like I said, I don't want to share it yet. But anyway, I'm going to ask my surgeon if they can take the kidneys out, if they feel it's safe enough for me to have them removed. But um, I heard usually they don't remove them if they're not causing pain. You know, they, they're not causing me pain, but I just, two and two makes four. And I know that they're going to continue growing. And if they're going to continue growing, eventually I might feel some pain, you know. Or it's just uncomfortable uh carrying along the extra weight so you know maybe they take them out on base just on that um you know i'm a woman i would like to have my figure back so maybe they do it based on that you know i'm gonna ask hopefully they will because i really would like to have my waistline back you know i had a cute little shape before that this happened so i would like to have my shape back you know but one day at a time. One thing at a time. And uh, so I'm just going to say peace out, y'all. And y'all be good out there. I'm going to try to come back with some videos and stuff. Right now, I am very busy starting a business. I, um, I started a business. I'm helping my daughter start her business. And so that I've been very busy. That's why I haven't been making no... Um, I haven't been making no videos and stuff. Okay, because since I'm not working anymore due to the dialysis, I started a business and that keeps me very busy. Okay, guys, so I'm going to say shalom, shalom, peace out, love you guys, all that.